Open enrollment is your annual opportunity to evaluate benefit options and make elections. This open enrollment benefit election walkthrough is intended to assist benefits eligible employees in making elections for open enrollment. Please refer to the open enrollment website at hr.osu.edu oe for more comprehensive details. Ohio State faculty and staff may make benefit elections or changes online by visiting Workday at workday.osu.edu. Log into Workday at workday.osu.edu. To locate your open enrollment change event, click the inbox icon at the top right corner of your Workday home screen, or click the Go to My Tasks link to open your inbox. In your Workday inbox, click the Open Enrollment Change Event, then click Let's Get Started. Respond to the tobacco use question. The result to the tobacco question will be used to determine rates for Voluntary Group Term Life Insurance, VGTLI. After answering the tobacco use question, click Continue. Click Continue on the Information Updated page. You will see a full listing of eligible benefit elections. To review or change medical, dental, or vision coverage, click Manage or Enroll on the applicable benefit card. Click the Select Radio button next to your desired plan. Then, click Confirm and Continue. If you change benefit plan enrollment, you will need to reselect the dependents you intend to cover under the newly selected benefit plan. Next, you will see a chart with dependents denoted. This chart will show which dependents are covered under your selected plan. To change a listed dependent's plan enrollment status, click the box next to the dependent's name. If you need to add a new dependent, click the Add a New Dependent button and follow the prompts to enter the new dependent's information. Enter information for the eligible dependent. Items with the red asterisk indicate required fields. Once finished, click Save and you will return to the Dependents page. To change a listed dependent's plan enrollment status, click the box next to the dependent's name. Ensure a blue box appears next to each dependent's name that you intend to enroll in benefit coverage. Once all dependents you intend to enroll in benefit coverage are listed and their enrollment status is correct, click Save. A pop-up will appear that indicates an update was made. An updated will appear on the top of the benefit card. This process will need to be repeated for each health benefit you wish to elect, waive, or change. The plan, number of enrolled dependents, and per paycheck contribution will be listed on each benefit card. Click Enroll to participate in the Healthcare Flexible Spending Account and or the Dependent Care Flexible Spending Account. Click the Radio button, then click Confirm and Continue. Enter either a per paycheck or annual election. Contributions will be divided over the total paychecks listed for the year. Then click Save. A pop-up will appear that indicates an update was made. An updated will appear on the top of the benefits card. The per paycheck contribution amount will be listed on the applicable FSA card. The process will need to be repeated for each flexible spending account you wish to elect or change. Click Manage on the Group Term Life Insurance card to review beneficiaries for university provided group term life insurance coverage. Please note, the beneficiaries added on the Group Term Life Insurance Plan 
apply to both group term life and voluntary group term life insurance. You cannot select Waive on this screen. If you wish to waive group term life insurance coverage, you must complete and submit a group term life insurance waiver available at hr.osu.edu slash policies hyphen forms. Click Confirm and Continue to designate life insurance beneficiaries. Click Minus to remove beneficiary designations and percentages. Click Plus to add beneficiary designations and percentages. Click the List drop-down to find options to add a beneficiary or trust. If you need to add a new beneficiary or trust, click Add a new beneficiary or trust and enter the information for each beneficiary or trust you would like to add. Items with a red asterisk indicate required fields. Once you have selected a beneficiary or trust, click Percentage to enter the percentage assigned to each beneficiary or trust. Percentages must total 100. Then, click Save. A pop-up will appear that indicates an update was made, and Reviewed will appear on the top of the benefits card. To elect, waive, or change employee, spouse, or child voluntary group term life, click Enroll or Manage on the applicable benefits card. Click Select to enroll or change coverage, or waive to opt out of coverage. Then click Confirm and Continue. If electing, increasing, or decreasing coverage, Click the List drop-down to select your desired level of coverage. Then, click Save. A pop-up will appear that indicates an update was made. An updated will appear on the top of the benefits card. If waiving voluntary group term life insurance coverage, waived will be listed on the card. If electing, changing, or remaining enrolled, the coverage level and per paycheck contribution amount will be listed on the benefits card. To elect, waive, or review short-term disability coverage, click Enroll or Manage on the Short-Term Disability Benefits card. Click Select to enroll or review coverage, or waive to opt out of coverage. Then click Confirm and Continue. If enrolling in short-term disability, you will see a summary of coverage. Click Save to continue or Cancel to return to the previous screen. A pop-up card will appear that indicates an update was made. An updated will appear on the top of the benefit card. If waiving short-term disability, waived will be listed on the card. If electing or remaining enrolled in short-term disability, the coverage level and per paycheck contribution will be listed on the benefit card. Once all intended benefit elections or changes are made, click Review and Sign to continue on to the final steps of the enrollment process. The next page shows a summary of your chosen benefit elections, associated dependents and beneficiaries, your paycheck deduction amounts, including any credits you'll receive, and waived coverages. After checking the summary page for accuracy, select the box at the bottom of the page next to I accept, then click Submit to finalize your benefit elections. To view your benefit statement, click View Benefit Statement. To print your confirmation statement, click Print at the bottom of the benefit statement. Once the open enrollment event is submitted, you will receive a Workday notification confirming the event's completion. The Workday notification will include a link to the submitted open enrollment benefit statement. 
Once you've submitted your open enrollment elections, you can make changes to your elections online from October 31st through November 15th by clicking Open Enrollment in the Announcements section of your Workday home screen or via the Open Enrollment card on the Benefits and Pay Hub. If you need to make a change to your 2026 elections after open enrollment ends on November 15th, you will need to submit printed election forms to HR Connection no later than 11.59 p.m. December 31st of 2025. Electronic submission via the HR Connection portal at hrconnection.osu.edu is recommended. Delivery via fax or via email to hrconnection at osu.edu are also options. No changes can be made to your open enrollment benefit elections after 11.59 p.m. December 31st of 2025 without a qualified life event or job status change. For more detailed information regarding open enrollment, please see the website at hr.osu.edu oe. If you have questions regarding your benefits, you can submit an inquiry through the HR Connection portal at hrconnection.osu.edu, email HR Connection at hrconnection at osu.edu, or call HR Connection at 614-247-6947.